Hi, my name's Roger, and uh, I used to be in a lot of pain. Uh, my junior year of high school, I had a really bad soccer accident in which I dislocated my right hip and uh, could no longer play soccer. Um, and uh, so I switched over to my uh, favorite sport of golf, which I thought would be better for me. And uh, flash forward about two years, and uh, I'm getting ready to go to college. And uh, UCSD came up to me and asked me to join their golf team, and so I happily accepted. And uh, about uh, one quarter into the school year, I uh, had to uh, stop playing um, as my pain from my injury came back. And I knew it could be serious, so I wanted to get it taken a look at. And so, uh, end of my freshman year, I go to my doctor. He tells me I have some massive inflammation and tears in my hip and I was going to need surgery and the surgery would put me out of sports for a while and I was done playing competitively and you know how the story goes. So uh, I went through the surgery the summer of my freshman year. I went through about six months of physical therapy um, and uh, eventually worked my way back up to a condition that I thought was better than I had previously had been at and started playing you know recreationally some sports uh, not really being super active because you know I was instructed by the doctor to kind of take it easy and let the hip heal over time and you know flash forward a couple more years and next thing I knew I was uh, graduating college about to uh, start my work career and uh, you know get a life for myself going so uh, one day at work I started to have hip pain again in the same hip in the same place and this time it was worse and this time it was more consistent so I went to my doctor and I said hey doc what's up I thought this wasn't gonna happen again and he said oh you know it can happen things like this come back over time let's go ahead let's do all the tests in the world x-rays MRIs he put me back on physical therapy and a couple months later, I still was in uh, no relief at all. And so I went back to him and he came back to me and he said, all right, well, we can do this bone marrow kind of transplant procedure. It's not 100% or this or that. And maybe I have to do surgery again or maybe this or maybe that. I said, okay, you know, let me take some time to think about it and figure out what... Uh, what action I would like to take. So I came home one day after going to the doctor with my dad on that trip and we sat down and we kind of ruled out all the options. We did the pros and cons of each and it seemed that each option had more cons than they did pros and a lot more risks than they did rewards. And uh, you know, my dad and I just, we hopped on the computer and we started to think about other ways to, you know, fix the problem because the doctor did not have a clear point on my body where he could say this is the reason for the cause and this is exactly it and this is how we're gonna fix it it was more um, if this then this kind of scenario and after doing a little bit of research on the internet I came upon zero pain now and, you know, mind you, I come from a, a very good background, very good family, you know, everything is always cut and dry. And, you know, we come upon this zero pain now, which introduces uh, ideologies to pain management in a way that you wouldn't actually think is possible, but you kind of are like, hmm, maybe this could work. And at this point, I really didn't want to go through surgery. I didn't really want to go through any kind of invasive hip treatment. And I was also really tired of physical therapy three days a week for two hours of the day. You know, it's good temporary relief, but nothing I did has provided me with relief that is consistent and relief that's going to be long term. So I started the Zero Pain Now process and um, I did everything that Adam had instructed me to from day one all the way until I finished the program. And without doing anything, within the first couple of days of the program, I noticed that my hip pain 
was gone, entirely gone. Mind you, it wasn't hip pain that was always there. It would come and go with certain activities throughout the day. And I was able to kind of recognize those events and through the process kind of diagnose through myself what was actually causing it. And next thing I know, the process is done. I've been pain free since I started. And now it's been six months, seven months since I've finished the program and I'm going to the gym five, six days out of the week. I'm playing golf more than I've ever played before. I'm running, I'm doing all these activities that I used to have to consider for hip pain and my hip endurance and make sure I'm gonna be able to do this or do that to, to uh, help with the pain. And I no longer have to think about that. And the process itself was easy because I was open to it and I'm incredibly thankful for having came upon it. I no longer go to physical therapy. I no longer have to see my doctor. I no longer have to take medication. I'm just living life and I'm living it without having to think about my hip pain anymore. And that's fantastic. I'm living pain free.